Okay, this time I'm going to show you how to do these. And uh, I already took them out of the car, but uh, generally to take them out, you see these uh, black clips right here. When it sits like that, you have to push on the top ones, pop them out, and pull on the bottom ones to pop them out. And then you have one on the side here, on the the one closest to the uh, the light. Now. Uh, the easiest way to do this is not just to send this on its own because the strips here are going to be hard to send right here. So what you have to do is if you look inside or outside here, you have silver strips as well. That will separate the black part from the chrome part. So all you do is you pull out one, two, three. You got two here right here so pull these out and as you can see they come separate now it's exposed and I can actually sand it and you have this part all on its own last time I featured the cats this time I featured the dogs you poopy Okay, um, the kind of uh, sandpaper I got is P220, uh, the grit, and um, it says car care, so I just got it. And the other one is automotive sandpaper, and it's 800 grit, so those are the two I, I used. Okay, so, and I got this thing, because the first time I did it with my hands, and, well, my hands were peeled off, basically. But I'm okay now. So, what you do is, you get this. Got it for six bucks, three bucks each. Um, so it's not really a big deal. The spray, uh, the spray can is another six bucks. So you put it in here like this, and then you squeeze it because what it is, it has little needles inside. Fold it, make sure it's tight. You open it, put it back, and squeeze. Okay. Now all you do, start. You have a couple of layers that you need to watch out for. You have this layer right here, then you have this layer right here. You have the one right in the middle of those two, which is right here, which you can't get unless you go diagonally like this. You have one, two, three, and right here on the inside, four, all over. One, two, three, four. So just make sure you get everything. And the easiest way to do it is sit under a light or something. And as you're sanding, look, and if you can see the difference between where you sanded and the light, it'll show up really well. So that's, like, there's no way you can miss a part. So all you do is grab this, start here, for example, and uh, put a newspaper or something. I'm too lazy, though. Okay, so you start here. Now, what happens after a while is, if you can see right here, it starts getting discolored. And because what happens is obviously it loses its uh, greediness right here and right here. It's basically smooth. It's like normal paper. So just don't be cheap. Uh, every time it's like that, just change it. I mean, I used about two and a half of this size to complete the other one. And just don't be cheap about it. That's all I can tell you. And just keep sanding all over. And then you're going to get to a part where you have these corners right here. Which are hard to get. All you do is use the corner right here. You just grab it. And you put it this way. And you just rub it this way. And you'll get it easily. Another thing you can use is the tips right here. If you need to get a corner, you just put it vertically. And just... And you'll get it. Just do that to the whole thing. And it looked like this. Just finished sanding the one on the left. I'm not sure if you can see a difference, but I can. Uh, here. Now it's time to work on these, and surprisingly enough, as soon as I uh, started sanding the chrome part, 
it look it took a little effort to make them look like this the chrome just uh, came off but it doesn't come off completely I mean you have to be you see right there the shine you have to be kind of meticulous about it and um, at the top here it's also hard to get out so my advice is when you do that uh, just give it a one just one coat just to make sure everything is gone a stand under uh, under a light and that way you can see the shining parts and spend a fair amount of time uh, just sanding it the more effort you put the better it's gonna look obviously so I just want to show you real quick how how easy it is to get rid of the chrome got my 220 grit here and all I do is literally watch as you can see it's all shining watch it's gone already you see that here I'll do this as you can see see how these are shining right here now watch gone now after you do it like that um, do it diagonally like this because the edges right here are gonna shine so not only like this make sure you do it like that and then like that and then spend a lot of time on the top you're not gonna get all of it but try your best paint it make sure to wash it because all that dust that you've been sanding is gonna interfere with the paint and it's gonna be bumpy just for an idea I just finished see my hand watch see that all that's gonna stick to the paint so make sure you wash it with water and then dry it off completely this is the paint that use it's dupla color and uh, bumper coating you can find it at AutoZone or uh, Pet Boys and if you don't have one of those beside your house then you shouldn't be driving an M3 okay I'm gonna show you how I paint you can paint whatever way you want but I'm just showing you what I do fresh like uh, it's fresh uh, can of paint, okay? Shake it well and test it. See which way the nozzle sprays. So I go here. I know it sprays this way, not this way. So I know it's a good way. Make sure, see how it's steady and nice? So you know you're ready. Don't spray like this. Always come at an angle. So when I start, I start spraying here. Notice I'm not even near it. And do a nice sweeping motion about this far. And then start again and come backwards. I generally do it about four times. And just keep moving it along. Here. Now, change angles and do the exact same thing. angles do the exact same thing okay it's morning now and they're dry as you can see it looks nice on the back it's still like this now if you want to paint it you can if you don't you don't have to because this is what you're gonna see but if you want to Make sure you do a setup like this, where you put, you elevate the two sides with wood or whatever you can get. Because if you don't, the all there's a big surface area that's going to be in touch with the newspaper, and it will stick. But by elevating it, even when the paint dries, it won't stick and peel what you painted already. I'm going to show you another way to uh, hang your uh, grill to dry. If you don't want to put it like that, you know, it might stick or whatnot. Do what I do. With the equipment I have at home, you know, readily electric tape and I got a piece about yay big winded it up put it through one of the clips and used my bag put it this way and just hung it to dry as you can see it's not touching anything and that way it won't stick